Greetings, humans, and welcome to devlog number six of Coffee Shop the RPG. It has been one and a half weeks since published, I think 10 days, and um, we have surpassed a thousand plays, I think uh, 1.1 thousand right now, um, or almost there. Um, but play rate has fallen off pretty sharply. This is the live on server version um, right now. And what has really happened in that week is that we've gotten into a much, much more stable state um, in terms of just grabbing the bug fixes that were preventing people's experience. Now is the moment where you can kind of examine the sort of stripped down starkness of like what's actually here and how much more content um, we need to make this a fun, playable game. Um, but at least there is there is a loop where there are things that we're tracking and way, way fewer bugs. Among the tiny fixes that people might not appreciate is that the indoor sounds are mostly indoors. Um, so that involved um, abandoning just the positional audio system and actually using a trigger to start it. Um, and I think one of the sounds is actually in the wrong category, but that's the basic idea. We've also decreased the indoor walking speed, jump height, and there's no mounting. Um, but as soon as you get outside, you're able to run around again and do all of those exciting things. Um, persistent bug you can see in the top left corner is that new players are not getting added in right away. And I just need to get a more aggressive refresh cycle on that, as well as updating it when people disconnect. Um, so that's, uh, basically what's happening. Um, let's see here. Um, so one of the improvements that we've made, we'll see here, uh, in the menu is that, um, we standardize all the drink prices. So there is no drink option. There used to be a special here. It's gone. Um, and everything that you see here in this menu is purchasable. Um, and we'll get you a drink. Now, those drinks all come out to be something identical. There's also, I brought the pause back on the drink because it was appearing so quickly that people didn't realize it was ready. Um, right now, it's right at the point where a player can walk over here and be already standing in the trigger when it appears, um, which doesn't trigger the trigger enter event. So that's, uh, that is a refinement. Uh, besides that, we've got our improved quest system. It just looks a little better. It tracks um, how long it's taken you and when you complete the quests, uh, for example, it actually tells you how long until your next refresh and the number of times you have done it, which you can see now I'm getting 13 in this leaderboard over here, reflects the number of times, not people, no number of days that people showed up, but the number of times they have entirely finished the daily quests cycle. Cause that, that's what makes you a true regular when you think about it. So uh, planned changes to that is to remove myself disaster not from the top. That's just, that's not the story we're telling here. Um, and you know, I am an employee. One of the things that makes me an employee is um, that I use the team system to be able to walk behind the counter um, and head to this very stark bare back room that has utterly nothing in it. Um, but one of, the, one of the planned changes is adding a little bit more to that and possibly allowing people more freedom. So I can also, I couldn't um, make the trigger um, team collidable. So I couldn't figure out how to make the door only open for me, but I removed the collision for it. So theoretically I could walk into the back room, but I'm keeping the back room a mystery um, until I really figure out what I want to do with it. Um, let's see here, what else do we have? Um, so yeah, and obviously the music is new. We took the lo-fi off and put the jazz on to give it a more Christmassy feel. Um, and that's, um, <clears throat> yeah, the current state of that. One of the most exciting, um, oh, well, besides the courier. Um, so I'll just uh, throw this drink away. Um, one of my, the, the update that I spent the most time on, the reason that this devlog is, did not happen on Saturday or Sunday is because of the updates to the courier. So, oh, oh it saved the page I'm on. So this is now a four page um, UI. It includes the feature article, which is again, probably about a sentence, two sentences. Um, this is uh, four or five sentences for the editorial. Um, we've got coroscopes, 
which you are using whichever icon sort of interested me at the time. It's actually the more more ridiculous the longer you look at it. Um, and then a Sudoku, which is totally uh, functional and integrated with the newspaper. So I made a, this is, the beauty of this is that it's designed that you can put the same newspaper in any game. So it's available on community content. I made an entire video about how to use and update it. Um, and I'm actually now updating it independent of this project so that I'm bringing it into project the same way I'm expecting other people to. And I can kind of troubleshoot any challenges that come up with this. The Sudoku, some people have finished it. It is tracking who does it, although it's not displayed any Anywhere. The plan is that the next edition um, will list in the back everybody who finished the previous Sudoku here in the coffee shop. So there's a little bit of real world integration and, um, you know, prestige that comes with it that also sort of leaves the coffee shop. So that's, I think, the end of the updates here. So um, the biggest, I guess I can't, it's hard to see, but when you have the... Um, and I use no keys so that this can potentially go into things. But there, you're now set in an animation stance, which is holding the newspaper out in front of you. Um, and so there are three animation stances in the game. We have the one where you're sitting in a chair, the one where you're holding your arms out way in front of you to open the newspaper, and the one where you're holding a coffee. And trying to manage moving the player between them when you can't do any of them simultaneously has been really tricky. So, the, so one of the amazing phenomena that happened is people challenging themselves to... Um, uh, throw away the coffee from the maximum distance possible. Um, and I've got some great footage of that. So one of the things that I've wanted to do for a couple of mini game purposes and things like that is to really make the coffee a fully functional weapon. So this is going to be my stand in for what that looks like when I have it. Um, and um, what happens now when I throw a coffee is that it is an actual projectile which bounces. And I've got um, but yeah, so the difference the the difference here is right now when you throw away a coffee, it actually raycasts from exactly where um, the reticle is. So if I were to aim there with the coffee, I would actually have successfully thrown it away, and I could probably demonstrate that. But we don't have a reticle in game, so that's been kind of the challenge. So people getting this distance thing have really min maxed on that. Um, on that detail and really it's just it's kind of dependent on what the maximum ability distance is it's a hard-coded value uh, maximum target distances um which I, I i could increase and i really love all of the sort of challenge and interesting that's come with it if i instead change it to be where that projectile actually ends before it bounces um then we're talking about a kind of a different thing and actually i really like the loft and movement of this right now it feels coffee cup like it took me a while this was bouncing wildly initially as i set it up um so the idea is let's not ruin the fun of that but also add a little more viscerality to it and then we're actually going to add mini games where you need to finish your coffee coffee quickly so that you can throw it at people the courier headquarters i just grabbed a building out of the main street template kit and threw it down here so that i could have a little office where the courier is made but from now on the next update to the courier is the 27th so four days from now is when we're gonna have a new update i have at least the feature articles planned i have no horoscopes are hard for me um so we're still working on that and that may end up getting you know replaced with like an advice column or something else and we're gonna add the kind of credits of the the staff and the puzzle completers and i don't know if it needs the solution to the previous sudoku edition will be coming out this sunday um and then i'll get to test things about the integration like i said there's a video on how to add it to your project for anybody who wants the courier in their project um and it has a really a couple of nice elegant systems that make it almost no cost to add to a game no networking cost very little collision cost um for the newspaper i'm thinking about making it more modular so that this actual world space display is separate from it since that really only integrates into a kind of selection of game a lot of the survival games are very sort of like urban modern so it does work with them besides the fact that a current newspaper is a little bit sus suspect in a collapsed civilization 
Um, but yeah, that is the roadmap accomplishments for this week and um, other things that are coming up for Coffee Shop, the RPG and the Courier. Um, also coming out this week, we're going to have a video about how to use the business card system and probably a rework of the business card system so that I'm getting more business cards because that's stagnating a little bit and I would like to add that and probably the uh, business card passport system that allows you to kind of track which ones you've visited um, and keep track of the ones you've collected as well in game. So that's the idea is really beefing that out so that we can um, have a lot more fun with the multiverse aspect of it. Um, and yeah, thank you again for watching. Um, you can see the development live on Twitch, although the schedule's a little bit weird this week with the holidays. Um, like and subscribe to um, get the regular updates on this and other community content tutorials and things like that that we'll be adding to this channel. Um, and thank you for watching. I will see you in the future.